think uh, I think he just saw me walk into the gym or something. I think that's why he's looking like that. Is that, is that the boy? <laughs> I know, man. I, I was hoping Nick would be here too, man. I used to work in a supplement store, you know? You did? Yeah, before I was a professional bodybuilder. It was fun, man. I actually really enjoyed working in a supplement store and learning about the supplements. I really learned like a, a lot. I gained a lot of knowledge by working in supplements. So that was actually, I went from being a server at a restaurant to working in, in a supplement store. And so for one, that got me off my feet a little bit more so I could have a little bit more of a bodybuilding routine uh, and lifestyle. And then two, I got to learn about bodybuilding. So it's perfect. Coming in clutch. I got three of these. Three chicken and rice meals. Uh, eight ounces of chicken, cup and a half of jasmine rice. I had a uh, steak and rice meal already. So this is meal number two for me today. Dude, I was um, passed out on the plane. Did you hear me snoring? Mm -mm. You didn't hear me snoring? No. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, I don't think I snored really loud. No, I couldn't hear you. The kid behind me threw up. I know. That's never really, I mean, I don't say it's never happened when I was on a plane, but that's rare, dude. Yo! Yo what's up, bro? <laughs> Man, you just get here, what's bro, up? Bro, did you get bigger again? No way, dude. I'm <laughs> tightening it up for the Olympia now. Now, actually, I'm feeling good. I do feel like this is like the biggest I've ever yes. been. At this stage of the game, so I think we're in a good good spot, dude. Look at you, dude. I get a little weight. Look at I know. <laughs> you look. You walked on the corner. Like, oh my god. I dude. get a little weight. Yeah, dude. You look good, man. So I guess like it's a good weight. I gained like 20 pounds. Nice. Since the Arnold or when? Since the Arnold, dude. Yeah, because I saw you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, you down, like 20. Nice. How you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. <laughs> He's like, like, I don't, I don't know him, him like that, him but he may freak out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's going on here? I called Pat and I was like, what do you think he'd do? He's like, he would oh, shit. He's a squeaky clean guy of the industry. Like, what the fuck is this guy done but, to anybody? I don't know. I, I like sometimes, like, whenever, uh, you know, crack jokes or something like that, and yeah. I'm trying to say something. And as long as it's, like, respectful, dude, yeah. or, like, factual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Factual and respectful, that's all I care about. Dude, I've heard so many people kind of they're mad, and I'm like, you're mad because I told the truth? Like, yeah. what are you really mad about? What, what, what upsets you right now? You exposed, exposed you for saying true things. Did I lie? Yeah. If I lied, that's on me, but like, I never have. Who's subscribing right here? Look at that. Everything got, I got the notifications and everything. Hey man, you gotta, gotta subscribe, bro. If you don't subscribe, man, you're just, I don't know what you're doing. You gotta get big like him. You know? You gotta get big. You just gotta get big. That's right, subscribe. I gotta say, what's up to the man behind the camera, though? I love, I love your stuff, bro. I love the work you guys do. You know, hey, it's all him, bro. I know, but hey, bro, but you're in front of the camera too. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but yeah, you guys, the chemistry you guys have, man, I love it. This is, this is how we stay relaxed over here. Just really relaxed here. That's just the natural stance. Chill over here. that. You got a shaker bottle, bro. I can park you up right here. Oh, no, I'm not even flexing, dude. I'm not even flexing. I wake up like this is my sleep. Thank you, man. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, we so appreciate it. Hey, yeah, God bless, bro. Yeah, you too. Take it easy, bro. Bro. The games. This is like... This is like the size of a baby. This is probably like six pounds. <laughs> It's going down. It's four pounds. It's two pounds. No. It's probably two and a half. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Like I was the whole because they were he told me we were gonna eat like an hour ago, so I'm like yeah. waiting, waiting. I had a meal ready. I like, know. Do like, oh, you see this? You see it on my forehead? Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm like starting to turn green. I'm about to go Hulk mode. Being hangry, bro. What do you do on Hulk mode? Huh? You don't wanna see that. <laughs> this is about a level three. You don't want to see me at a 10. How, how do I get to the 10? I'm telling you, brother. You don't want to see that. Only only few have witnessed the 9.5. Nobody yeah, wants to see it. Seen the 10. I'm telling you. And have I, you seen the 9.5? Only few have seen the 9.5. Have I witnessed the 9.5? You were close. <laughs> <laughs> I almost set him off on a 10 every day. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he frustrates me, bro. We are back here in Tampa, and that's it. Now that we've done this Aries Nutrition event, we are actually officially done 
traveling for the year, unless I go see Hani or something like that. But otherwise, I'm just gonna be here at home training. It's all go for the Olympia. And we are 18 and a half weeks out. <laughs> Crazy, right? So I actually just updated Hani. I'm gonna show you um, these updates real fast. I was just under 260 this morning, even with like the kind of like the inconsistency of of the meals I had this yeah. week since I went to to Phoenix and then I went to New Jersey this week. So I, I missed a few meals, um, but yeah, just under 260, which which is a really good thing because hitting like 257 to 260 last year, yeah. like I had a little bit more bloat yeah. and um, I lost a bunch of weight right before I started my prep, remember? Yeah. So for me to actually miss a couple meals and just hold on to this weight says like I've solidified that muscle tissue yeah. and I'm holding on to it. So no death line here. Check this out. Oh, geez. Jelson was like, you're solid <laughs> at 260. That is solid. I'm happy. I mean, like, I'm happy, but not content, right? What weight do you think you'll drop down for the one? Because you look solid yeah. at 260. Uh, I feel good, man. Like, this is a definitely like a, a lean, good 260. I would say if I could come in like hardest nails at 235 or somewhere around there, that would be great. I think me at around 235 or even just under would be spot on for where I need to be. Man, wait. When I say spot, I mean, watch how much I can lift. <laughs> With these 20 kilos. <laughs> like a He's like, bro, you're not allowed in our gym anymore. <laughs> I'm going to tell my mom you're not allowed to be in anymore. <laughs> He's been kicked out, right? You, you are officially denied access. <laughs> door access. It's been provoked. No more door access. <laughs> Bring, bring Nick Walker back, he said. Yeah. <laughs> We're kicking Derek out. Bring Nick back. Look, he, <laughs> he's getting mad at me. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry. Sorry, brother. Not seeing much lifting. Did you teach him? Is that a pun? Impeccable? See, he can talk while he's lifting, so that means he's not going heavy enough. It's warming up, brother. Impeccable. Let's see, let's see some heavier weight. Yeah, bro. He's trying to inspire, you yeah. know. He said he's going to be on the same stage as me one day. I'm trying to scare him away. Mm. 
my recovery has been slow lately. So a few weeks as I get into a routine, should start picking up here. I would say um, next month. Regardless of how this one feels, this is my heaviest weight. Even if I know I can go up and do 65, 70 kilos, I'm gonna keep it here at 60. I just don't think right now it's necessary to push and see how heavy I can go. I wanna get to a top good weight and that's it. Um, so however many reps I can get here, I'm gonna get them and then we'll move on to another exercise, so. just got drafted to play Hulk in the next Avengers movie. <laughs> I'm just trying to take Dave Bautista's spot in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it felt good. I, um, as soon as I threw up the, the 60s, put in my hand, I literally was like, man, I wanted to go with 65. I instantly was like, man, I just need to throw these down and, and go heavier. Just really want to assess where I'm at at the moment. With all the inconsistencies through traveling i want to get a baseline right now where we're at especially like i said like my recovery being low and my food not being a hundred percent on point now it's going to be all these next couple weeks is definitely going to start you know getting on point but um i just really i knew 60 kilos was plenty of weight for today and the next time we come in here and do dumbbell presses i'm gonna push it to probably 65 or maybe even heavier we'll see but you know I, i've been saying this a little bit lately in the last couple of videos about how i just want to assess where i'm at but it's true like i really just want to maintain a good amount of strength without pushing it to the max and then now that things are getting dialed in and we're coming up on 18 weeks out. Now we can really start going, you know what I mean? Another thing I was thinking about too was, before I did this set was, I might do a back off set if I don't get like a good number of reps. So I didn't know if I was gonna get like, like I said, six reps or if I could get 15. Well, I ended up getting 15, felt really solid. And because I got 15, I'm not gonna do a back off set. If I would have only got six to eight, I probably would have done a back off set and got another eight to 10, 10 to 12, something like that with a lighter weight. But I got more than I really expected to get here. I'm happy with it and um, we're gonna move on. Thank you. 
It's good. So I started off with a uh, more of an incline pressing movement with the free weights with the dumbbells. And now I want to go on to doing more of like a decline. So that way I'm hitting like the lower chest. So we started with the upper chest. Now we're moving to the lower chest. Two pressing movements. And then the third exercise after this one, we're going to go into more of a fly. And um, we'll see where we're at at that point. But as you guys know, I like to do pump, stretch, pump, stretch. That's how I, I feel like I get the, the best results as far as building muscle tissue overall. So I like, on chest day, I like to go, you know, back and forth between a pressing movement and a fly. Whether I do two pressing movements or two fly movements in a row, I like to kind of alternate back and forth. But most of the time I do pressing, fly, pressing, fly, or vice versa. Today, two pressing movements in a row to start off. And then the third exercise will be a fly. Oh, let's go, let's go, come on, one rapid time. Yep, oh, nothing. Okay, two more. Oh, let's go. Oh, one more. Let's go. Push. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a box. Let's go drop center. Let's go. I actually got more reps than I thought with four plates. Normally, I just keep that at three plates, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> that was good. It's crazy, dude. This year, I feel like I've trained a lot smarter, you know? I love to come in here and kill it, but some days, you just got to be smarter than that. And I think there was a lot of days where in the past, like meaning four, five, six years ago, I would have just came in and just you know, threw around weights, went crazy, got tons of volume, trained like a wrestler essentially. And now I'm learning how to train like a professional bodybuilder, getting good mind muscle connection, understanding my body better throughout the year, taking rest days when I need it, backing off whenever I need it. And then the days I need to push, I get in here and push. Like today, I feel really good. I feel like I'm pushing pretty well like like I said first exercise I thought I was gonna get half that many reps I didn't even know how many I was gonna do on four plates either I ended up getting a solid what was that 10 12 something like that 10. something like that let's just say 10 I don't know whatever and then I did a I was supposed to drop to two plates well I dropped to three felt really good felt it in my chest 
I got another like eight to 10. So I ate eight reps or something like that. But either way, it's like, I'm feeling really good in my top sets, connecting with the muscle. And it's just, it's just clicking. Everything's clicking. Train smarter and train hard. Good start. Like I said, dude, you can never get ahead of yourself, man. Um, you gotta leave your ego at the door when you're in the gym. You can't just come in here and say, well, I know I can throw around this much weight. I, I've done it before. It's like, look, be smart, take your time, progress into the weight, whether it be that exercise that day and that workout, or whether it be just talking about overall your physique. Like, I feel like we're in a great starting point for this year's Olympia prep, but you know, these other guys from last year, they're better than they was in the 2022 Olympia. So we've all progressed and um, you just can't take things for granted. And regardless, regardless of what other people are doing, um, you just can't get ahead of yourself. You gotta remain humble in all of this and understand that there's, there's always something to improve. You can be proud and confident in how far you've come. I think it's important to see where you began and see where you are today. To, to, you know, instill confidence in yourself, knowing that your hard work um, is paying off. But to feel like I've made it. And I don't even mean in bodybuilding. I mean in business, I mean in life, I mean in your relationship with God. Uh, as soon as you feel like I've made it, I've got it figured out, I'm here now, that's when you go boom, all the way to the bottom and you start it over. So you never got it figured out. There's always something to work on always somehow you can improve and that's the joy of bodybuilding that's the joy of life One rep at a time. Come on. Let's go one rep. Let's go, brother. I'm on you. Come on. Nice. Let's go. Come on, want it. Every rep, let's go. Oh. Every rep, let's go. Good. Come on, drive. Nice. Nice. Good work. Heaviest I've ever gone. Yeah, that's good. That was your PR? PR, yeah. Yeah, dang, nice. So um, much talking today? Maybe. Um, I feel like dumbbell flies are great, but truthfully, man, they're not my favorite flying movement. I think incorporating them into your, your workouts is great, but um, I really like having constant tension when I do flying exercises, flying yeah. dance. So a couple of sets with the dumbbells felt great, but I, I want to go and do at least three sets with, um, let's do the pec deck today. I've been doing a lot of the cable flies, but today I think I want to just do the pec deck machine. So let's do three sets there, three good working sets. And um, then I will, what I'll probably do is, even if I just do push-ups at the end, I'll probably do a few sets of push-ups and that'll be it for chest. But some sort of other pressing movement, I would consider push-ups a press. And I still got to hit abs today, so I don't want to skip that. I've been hitting chest and abs all year round this year, never missing a workout. So we'll do a little bit of ab work today, too. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, let's go. Oh. sore for a few days. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh, man. I was already smoked on that set before. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that got it. But let's go um, let's go finish up with some push-ups, and then we'll do some abs. That's it. I haven't done this in a long time, man. What are you doing with this? I'm going to use this Smith machine, and I'm going to start off at the bottom, and I'm going to get like 10 reps. I'm going to move it up another notch. I'll do 10 reps. Move it up another notch, do 10 reps. Like push ups? And then go up a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So it like is harder, obviously, at the bottom. Yeah. And then as you bring it up to each little notch, it gets a little bit easier. But we'll just do one set like that and we'll call it a day. Oh my gosh. Jesse. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. reps to finish oh my cool you know I used to do 504 push-ups every single night before bed fun fact I'm 504 literally everybody asked me that because I would take a deck of cards like a normal deck of cards right and for the numbers 2 through 10 I would, um, so I would do however many like push-ups the card says, right? So number two through 10 was like two push-ups through 10 push-ups, right? Per card. And then for the jacks, I would do 12. The queen, I would do 15. The king, I would do 20. 
the aces were 25. How did you come up with that? Um, I, uh, I heard it from my wrestling coach. Shout out Billy Haywig. Actually, it's pretty cool. He and I still stay in touch. And um, he coaches uh, wrestling and I believe he coaches football and other sports back home in Indiana. And uh, I'm pretty sure some of his his uh, athletes watch our, our channel. So shout out to all the wrestlers and athletes under Coach Haywig. Um, he was a huge um, inspiration, motivation, and mentor for me at an early age when I was in high school. So I have to give a lot of credit to, to Coach Haywig, who's my wrestling coach and my strength trainer in high school, which is where I heard the quote, every day is a great day to get better, among other many motivational quotes that he would say to us to get us going in the wrestling room and the weight room. So thank God for that guy in my life, man. But um, he told me about it. And so I would go home and I would do that workout every single night before bed. So what I would do is I started off with four cards. I would flip over four cards and I would do that many push-ups, and then I would take a rest. I would do four more cards, take a rest. And that's how I started. And then once I could get better at doing push-ups and I could push myself further, then I would flip over maybe like six or eight cards or, or more at a time. So you're doing anywhere from minimum, if you flipped over four deuces or, or the two card, you would do like what, eight reps, but you could have up to four aces, which is a hundred reps. What would you do for the Joker? Oh, I threw the Jokers out. You don't do any push-ups for the Jokers. No push-ups. Those are the haters. You don't do them. You don't do nothing for them. You do it for you. Those are the Jokers. Your voice is gone. I know, dude. It's like, uh, you hear me going, uh. This is actually one of my favorite ab exercises, but I don't really do it year round because I don't want to thicken up the abs too much. So I usually do body weight movements in my off season. So like leg lifts, crunches, things like that, right? Um, but as far as like machine, like abdominal exercises or like the cable crunches, this is how you're gonna build strength and build thickness in the abdominals. So when you're doing this exercise, it's super important you actually are using your ab muscles. Um, I would try not to use as much of your obliques or your hip flexors in your legs to pull the weight down. So if you're doing that, you're probably going a little bit too heavy. Um, also with the handle, you can pick different handles. This is kind of my favorite. Uh, you could you could also do like the V-bar as well, right? Like it's like um, the V-bar that you would normally use on like a, a seated rope, right? That handle's good. You can also use the rope, which is nice as well. But I find that this fits my hand the best. I'm able to grip onto it and it kind of freely moves how I like. So um, just the, you know, a couple key tips is uh, keep the weight in the same position, meaning I like to keep my hands right here, kind of right beside or behind my head so that like whenever I, I come down, I crunch, I'm not pulling too much like this um, with my hands. So making sure to keep the weight in the same spot is important and engaging with your abs from the very beginning, because if you're just like really stretching up and you're stretching everything out and then you're just throwing it down, right? You don't really know what muscles you're moving. You probably are using your legs actually, or your obliques. So if you can really keep it in your, in your abdominals from the most stretched position to the most crunched position, that's what's gonna give you nice, a nice six pack, eight pack abs. So we're gonna do this to start off and we'll pick one other exercise. Two, three exercises for abs is good, especially after 
you know, you just smash another body part like chest. We that we just did. Oh. Oh my. Ooh. Oh, he's telling me you were just Yeah, bro. <laughs> you don't scare me. <laughs> you spoiled it, yeah? Just do this. Like, point right here. Point like this. Point like this. No, point right there. Alright, if you guys want to check out... Say this. If you guys want to check out the video, click right here. Well, I'll leave you guys a lot. <laughs> Take one. Mm, do it. Okay. Well, if you guys want to check out the video, click here. Why you Don't even put the link. What? Don't even put the link. Why? 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 Why?